their thoughts on that and more. My guests of the day are Felicity Houston and Chris Donnelly. Let's just pause and take a look back at the week in 60 seconds with Chris Page. In or out? In London, the Taoiseach made clear his hopes in the Brexit debate. I want Britain to remain a central member of the European Union because from our island point of view, this is a really critical issue. But back in Belfast, the First Minister suggested Mr Kenny should keep his hopes to himself. He's entitled to an opinion, he's entitled to a view, but at the end of the day it's a matter for the people of the United Kingdom. With the Assembly election coming up, a veteran decided to buy out. After 18 years, and there have been some of them very tough years as we went along, off with the old, on with the new. Or not so new, as a familiar face re-entered the political arena. I'm not somebody who could simply go off, have a nice life, because I would find myself shouting at the television and getting frustrated at politics. But what were the chances of all parties agreeing to do away with election posters? Do you want me to be very honest? Of course I do. I, I think the chances of that happening are due. And a warning for all politicians, someone is always listening. Call Mr Jim Allister. That's pure one. <laughs> Chris Page reporting, just time for a quick look ahead with uh, Felicity and Chris. Um, Felicity, Naomi Long's return certainly has been, uh, has been made pretty clear. She wants to come back to the Assembly. Yeah, well, she was my MP in East Belfast, and I think one of the things Naomi's great at is covering a lot of issues. She's very strong in animal welfare, and that's a massive issue in Northern Ireland now. So if she gets back into the Assembly, I think she'd be a real plus for that. Mm. I think she'll give David Ford something to keep him up and, and make sure his performance is all it needs to be, because that's an obvious tools. new leader. Yes. Chris? I think she's a formidable politician and also has tremendous electoral appeal. I mean, in East Belfast, it took a United Unity candidate to actually defeat her. So it'll be interesting to see how Alliance perform with her on the ticket in East Belfast this time around. OK. And uh, Arlene Foster has said Terry Wogan was a legend of broadcasting. Well, I mean, he, he's part of my life. You know, I've been, he's been around for so long, absolutely, for us all. A lot of people feel like that. Thanks both very much indeed. That is it from all of us. Back to Andrew in London. Bye-bye. <laughs>